I mean, somebody was asking me today what I thought was going to happen. I forget now. But I always, I've been saying that uh, the Leafs are very habitual. They seem to find themselves in the same loops over and over and over again. So just like with Vancouver, when it looked like the Leafs are guaranteed to win this, they have to win against Vancouver. They're so beat up and this is the first game back and blah, 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 blah. As soon as there's a reason why the Leafs have to win, they won't win. That's just the storyline for the past couple of years, especially this year. If the Leafs ha- like, if the Leafs are expected to win, sorry, if they are expected to win, they ain't going to win, right? But when they have to win, and, and they kind of draw the line for that in their own heads, right? When they have to win, they turn it on when they need to, man. And that's what happened, right? Here we go. Winnipeg's nipping at their heels, saying, I'm going to get you. I'm taking that first. We let them get so close with their idiocy. So close, you know? <laughs> and then head He's to head. Oh, jeez. point record for a lead rookie. And Lugies he has guard. won this game. Oh, coming through with the big tip. Yeah, thanks, man. No one's done that one in a while, actually, you know? Um, but yeah, all the alerts, man. They're all so good. There's so many of them. <laughs> they're all cranked in my ears. Uh, but yeah, man. Like, I wasn't sweating it against Vancouver because I'm like, they, I didn't expect them to win. Everybody else did. But I was like, I hope they do. I want them to. I would even bet money on it if someone wanted me to predict it. But in my head, I'm like, come on, they're going to lose these games. They're going to lose the Vancouver games because everyone's expecting them to win. So, of course, they're going to lose. And then I'm like, okay, everyone's thinking that Winnipeg is finally showing up again, right? Here we go. They're, they are the most equal team with us this season. It's been crazy. It's been a crazy uh, season to follow along with, uh, with Winnipeg because... They're just always there. And here they were trying to take her spot again. Leaf said no. No. <laughs> when they needed to, they said no. Now, boy, a couple of those goals early on, man. Oh, it got scary though, didn't it? Didn't it? And I'll say this, man. Um, one of them in particular there. I, I have to see the full on like breakdown again because I didn't get a chance. I only saw it live and I saw the replay when it was on. But, you know, I don't have it on my phone. They don't post it up right away. Uh, but that, that other one where like it bounced out. The buddy was just wide open in front of the net. Now, everyone's probably expecting me to flip out and be like, see another guy wide open in front of the net. I mean, he was so far open, though. I feel like there must have been a play that happened just before that. That was like a, a, a quick turnover or something like that. Maybe you guys can help me in the chat there on that one. Um, but that one that got kicked out from the pad, just wide open. A buddy's just standing there, pops it in. Like, nobody was around. Not even, not even Vancouver, except for that one dude. So I'm not sure that's the same kind of defensive thing in that instance. Uh, I'd have to see it again. Um, but it didn't look too bad. Um, and certainly near the end there, they were mucking it up to try and make sure that they secured the win. And I'm glad that we didn't pull Campbell. I'm not sure they should have pulled Hellebuck. You know, I don't know, Winnipeg. I mean, it's different if your goalie is the only one that let in those three quick goals. You know, or those three goals. Maybe we all, all of them were quick, two were quick. Uh, but, you know. If, if the Leafs are, 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 are stonewalling you and you go down two, three goals like that all in one shot and you never get any back, hey, maybe you pull them after the third there for sure. But uh, you're right there. You're right there. And yeah, they were probably soft goals from Hellebuck too. I don't even think they were all that uh, that good for the Leafs to get. It's nothing to be proud of. Those were some pretty uh, weak goals on, Hel- on Hellebuck. But the point is, it's still a 3-2 game. He's in it. He's a Vesna he's a, he's a, <laughs> a Vesna award winner, right? So, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't have pulled him. But then again, I'm not uh, Paul Maurice. That guy's uh, awesome. I love him as a coach. Um, he's exactly the kind of coach I like to see in the NHL. I hope there's more of him. Um, but straight up. So, I mean, Winnipeg's not going anywhere anytime soon, guys. They're, they're back again in another game. And they're going to be looking for revenge. And they might just very well get it. I mean, they are so neck and neck with us this season. It's going to be insane. Uh, I just hope this was what uh, my playoff prediction will be i think that whatever happens winnipeg and toronto will not face each other in the first round i think i think even if something were to happen where the leafs aren't number one there's no way we're going up against winnipeg i think they would be the ones to take first then and go up against the fourth place spot and i don't think the leafs are going to fall fourth and i don't think the jets are going to fall fourth right so something's got to give there i hope that whatever happens in the first round whoever we face and whoever the jets face I hope either team doesn't start looking past that team and being like, I can't wait to get at each other, though. You know what I mean? Like, if Toronto's up against Montreal, I really hope they don't take Montreal lightly being like, I need to get to Winnipeg. I need to get there, man, and show them what's up. As soon as you start looking at Winnipeg, you know, instead of your first rounder, 
It's no good. It's no good. You're taking them too lightly, and you're going to lose that series. And I hope that Winnipeg doesn't do the same thing against whoever they face. You know? Probably going to be Edmonton. So they probably won't. They'll have an advantage there. Because how can you take Edmonton lightly? I don't know. Right? But I'm glad that uh, um, um, Campbell got to stick in the game. He deserved it. And it paid off because he got a win. So now he can shake off the demons of the losses there. You know? This is what I'm saying. This is the kind of stuff you need to see if a guy is really uh, starter material. You can't tell in just some backup games. You can't tell in just some fill-in games. You got to see a sample size of like 10, 15, maybe 20 games, right? Because Campbell's on such a hot streak there, he got the 11 and 0. That just prolongs the sample size, believe it or not. Because it's e it's mentally kind of easier to perform well when you're already performing well. But when you suffer a loss or two or three, you know, how do you bounce back from that? When you let in a few soft goals at the beginning of the game here, right? They weren't that great, you know? They were, they were not the best goals, they're not the worst goals. So I'm not furious at Campbell right now. Um, not that I ever really would be, but you know what I'm saying. I'm not putting the blame on him there. Um, but it was kind of soft on his end. But he bounced back. He bounced back and here we are. Here we are, Leafs pull ahead again. And hey, I got no complaints anytime that happens, right? <laughs> I just want to see them tighten up defensively, man. And I don't mean in, in clutch situations. I want to see it all the time. I want to see it all the time. There's no excuse. It's the easiest thing to mentally do. But it also probably is more physically tough. So, I mean, like we talked about kind of in the post YouTube section, right, of the show last time, uh, the Leafs could just be slow playing their enemies, slow playing their foes a little bit, you know? Taking it easy when they have to, just for a physical, like, load management standpoint, aka, or like, uh, a la Kawhi Leonard. You know? So maybe that's what the Leafs are doing. So maybe there was really nothing to worry about it at all, right? I don't think there ever is anything to worry about, even if they come dead last. I'm still going to be here next year, you know? So, like, really, what does it matter? I just enjoy the storylines, guys. I want whatever to happen to be a storyline, whether it be epically awesome or epically bad. Nothing is worse than blah hockey. Nothing. Nothing. You know? Your, your, your franchise isn't even into it every year. Like, Buffalo fans, like, jeez. You know what I'm saying? Detroit fans, to some extent. Come on, guys. We just want exciting hockey. Let's be happy about this. This is one of the best seasons we've ever had so far. So that's where I'm feeling uh, about the Leafs right now. And I want to know what you guys think, okay? And for anyone that keeps missing out on YouTube and just watches the clips afterwards, I'm telling them they need to be here. You guys need to tell them too, man. Come on the YouTube channel. Leave comments. Say, hey, I was at that one. I'm the one making that, that comment right there. Look at me. Hey. So come to the YouTube channel and leave comments about what you said. Maybe follow up on a point, you know? Um, but now I want to see what you have to say live here in the room because that's amazing. This chat is already full. Let's get going, man.